Hi, this is Keith Miller from UMSL Center for Technology and Learning. I'm going to tell you about what I found out about me on the internet. First, I'm going to talk about what I mean when I use the phrase digital remains. Then I'm going to show you some of the things I found when I looked for me on the web. Then we're going to invite you to look for yourself on the web for things about you. When I say digital remains, I mean any data in a computer system without a recorded recent interaction by the entity designated as the creator of that data. So if you have a social media account and you die, those are digital remains. I went searching on the internet to see what digital remains I would have if I keeled over tomorrow. First, I just tried my name. Now, by the way, I use a service called DuckDuckGo because it's a search engine that doesn't track my searches, and I like that for my privacy. Just putting Keith Miller into the search engine was pretty much useless. There are thousands of Keith Millers, many of whom are far more prominent than I am on the web, so it didn't give me much information about me. One Keith Miller that came up a lot was this Keith Miller, who apparently was an outstanding cr cricket player in Australia. He died in 1956. My first and last name didn't work so well, so now I added my middle initial W, Keith W. Miller. It was better, but still not great. The second and third entries on the first page were me, but the rest of that page entries were not me. There's a prominent Harvard medical researcher also named Keith W. Miller, so lots of the hits are for him. Here's a picture of the Harvard MD anesthetologist who's uh, number one when you type in Keith W. Miller. Since computer ethics is my scholarly specialty, I added ethics to Keith W. Miller and tried again. I got way better results this time. In fact, the first 50 items returned each had something to do with me, and all of them related to my scholarly research in some way. Even a lot of the pictures are me. So far, most of the hits I got with Keith W. Miller, especially Keith W. Miller ethics, had to do with my professional life. Next, I wanted to see what happens if I go searching for more of my personal life. So instead of ethics, I wrote Keith W. Miller, Chatham, Illinois, where I own a home. Well, there's lots of stuff about Keith W. Miller, Chatham, Illinois, but a lot of it isn't correct or isn't me. None of the pictures on the first page are me. Uh, Keith uh, W. Miller, 69, Chatham, Illinois, that's correct. But it has, has court or arrest records. I'm, I don't have any court or arrest records. So I don't know what they're talking about there. Uh, so, it was kind of a mixed bag when I put in my address. After you've done free searches on the web for yourself, or for somebody else for that matter, if you really want to dig deep, you got to pay some money and have a service find out things about you on the web. So that's what I did. I paid for a subscription, and I saw what they could dig up about me. In order to make this work, I had to give them some information about me. And then I got quite a bit of information back. Some of that information wasn't correct, but quite a bit of it was correct. Here's some of the information about me that the paid service got right. It found most of my academic jobs through the years, though not all of them. It discovered all three of my college degrees. And it found my social security number on the web. I didn't like that. Here are a few more things that the service got right. It found my wife. It found my older son. Unfortunately, it didn't find my younger son. The service listed seven possible associates. Two of them were people I know, one of whom I haven't seen since high school. The service found my current cell phone number on the web, my current home number, and my office phone at my last job. It didn't happen to find my current office phone. 
It found all three emails that I currently use. The internet service did really well on places where I have lived through the years. It found my current address in Illinois, an old address in Hawaii, and we were only there for six months. It found an old address in Virginia, but it found, also found an address in Illinois, which wasn't mine. It listed St. Louis only vaguely. It didn't give my apartment address. Someone named James Keith Miller is on a watch list for evil people, but I want everyone to know that's not me. This report had pages and pages that identified places on the web like libraries and websites that went, mentioned one or more of my publications. They also identified my Prius and my wife's Civic and their registrations. Out on the web, you can find out that I registered to hunt pheasants in Illinois, and it had some pretty detailed information about mortgages and deeds from the homes my wife and I have owned and the previous owners of those uh, properties. I was happy to learn that the web doesn't have much information about my finances. I was happy about that. Uh, the web reported that I worked at the Umsel bookstore for a while, and as far as I know, I didn't. To sum up, this service found about 40 pages of information about me on the web, and that information is pretty much correct. It also found about two pages that were dead wrong. Now it's your turn. We've got a computer here on our desk, and we invite you to do searches about you to see what the web has to say about you and your digital remains. Bye for now.